All right, welcome back. So we are going to do the tutorial level video today about the Place Doors Yourself mod by Jim Soon. So first you can see I've got my rig back out and i got a bunch of stuff with some weird pink things all around and some tower stuff and all kinds of things. I'm going to put timestamps down below. You can skip around. This is not going to be a short video. Uh, it's There's a lot involved in it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to answer questions. Some of these come from commenters that have been using the mod for months and months. It came out in, I think, November on Nexus. And some are directly from the mod author in responses. I, I think he even responded to somebody yesterday on Nexus. So does this mod affect NPC ships, ships you get as a quest or a mission reward, ships you purchase, ships you try to steal? The short answer is no. However, as soon as we go into the ship builder, I don't know if you actually have to modify yet or not, but once once it's there, then yes, that it affects it. But if you want to get on the UC Vigilance, if you want to get on the Pale Lady, things of that nature, it should have zero effect. However, one person just commented on my YouTube that they swear up and down that this changed and uh, they've tried to steal a few ships and it was kind of weirded out. I haven't seen that personally. I bought a just rando ship right here from my shipyard, from that kiosk down there, and it was fine. I was able to do all the things. I hadn't touched anything with it. All the ladders and doors were there. I don't know. The mod author says no, it doesn't affect it, so take that for what it is. Does it affect your ships? Yes. So the ships you have in your ship builder, you're going to have to go in and put the doors and stuff in. Now, I didn't find that to be too big of a deal. My, for example, my Frontier 2.0, it's just one door. That's it. It's just one door because it doesn't affect the door to the cockpit, to the landing bay, or the docker. And I only have two halves on that, so literally it was one door. I was in and out in like 20 seconds, and boom, that's done. If you have a more elaborate ship, sure, it's going to take you a little bit, but it only does it once. Then you're all done. Now, what if I disable this mod and I come back uh, later will it revert back to the vanilla ships yes and could there be any kind of problems with that also yes these are mods they they're not uh infallible they can have problems even bethesda's mod the ancient mariner had problems the first day it came out that bethesda had to fix so not even the studio that makes this thing is immune from having problems so take it what it is it's a risk we are taking a risk by using mods is this available for Xbox? Yes. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the people who have commented since yesterday say it works just fine on Xbox. Will other mods break this mod, or will this mod break other mods? Yes. And every time Bethesda updates the game, usually it doesn't happen with hotfixes. Definitely it happens with content updates. The mod could break. As long as uh, Jim Soon is proactive about it and keeps things updated, which he seems to be, and... He is working on trying to simplify the mod even further, code-wise, on the back end in the CK, so that it doesn't as easily break with other mods, then great. Then, then it'll have no problem, hopefully, because who knows, the mod author may not update this forever. And if you consider this one of your must-have mods, uh, down the road, it, it may be one of those things where you may no longer have access to it. So it's the risk we take. Now let's go in here and let's take a look at uh, what you do. So I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. We're going to go through several options. You have a total of seven, or port to starboard, excuse me. And you can see them here, port for starboard aft. So if you forget, because I'm not a ship guy, so I forget. You can see there's already some pink there. There's already some pink there. I'm trying to speed this process up a little bit. I haven't placed those, but I have placed those and those. So first things first, we come in through here and we're going to come over to this section. We're going to do that first in the chain. I've already got it set up so it has a way to get in. I'm not going to go through all that because that's part of this tutorial anyway. So the first thing I want to do is I want to pull all these out. Because I want to put all seven possible opening types 
then we're going to go in and look at them. I'm going to put hab tags on each one as I go through them. It's going to be a pain. Uh, that way you can understand because uh, they kind of look alike and it's hard to tell entirely. So we're going to hit G. We're going to come over here to Habs. Now, at current, there's no icon. The mod author has icons. They were provided to him by another user. However, Bethesda doesn't allow for it in their back end or something like that. So he's trying to figure a workaround to give us um, icons here. So the first thing I want to do, and we're going to do this right to left, I want to do a passway because it's it's a just individual item. And then I'm going to do that for the portal window as well. I'm going to do the same thing all the way down. Then we're going to go to the door. We're going to start with door port because this is the port side. Then we're going to go to door starboard. The reason I'm doing both, even though this isn't the starboard side, there is a small difference between them, and I want you to be able to see them because it may change the aesthetic in your ship in a way that you either like or dislike. Now let's come over here, and we're going to go to the Jalosi, or Jalose. We're going to go to port first. We're going to go to starboard second. And then finally, we're going to go down here. Bring this down to shutter, shutter port, shutter starboard. So these should all match. Starboard, yep, yep. And then this. And then so that we can see what's going on here, there's something that happens with these. So that is the port side, this is the starboard side. So over here, I'm going to put shutter starboard on this one, even though it's port over here. I'm going to put port over here because we're going to go opposites because I want to show you something that it does. So I'm going to go ahead and put the portholes here. Uh, for those who don't know, I am doing control G to copy. So now that we have all this in, double click this, bring the whole thing over, boom. And of course, I did already put the uh, cross way along, passway along, so that we could just get through here. And I just need to, we're going to hit G. It's already on it. Then I'm going to do this. All right, so that has this section done for port to starboard. I also want to show you, if I hit G on this, we're going to go back over here to Habs. We have a new option. It is whole upright. Hit G again. Pop over to structural. Now we have a porthole top. Now what happens if I don't put the hole? So we got the hole. We got the no hole. So now this section's all done, ready for our tour. We have to do all of this section, but we're going to do it from this side so it makes it easier for you to see what's going on. I'm going to pull all these out. So you can see I've already got the uh, passway so we can get through it and move around, and I've already got everything on the back side. So once again, right to left, we're going to start with crossway. This one is going to be, sorry, passway. And this one's going to be along. So across, along. Along is, we'll call it north to south, and across is east to west. It's not really the best analogy, but you get the idea. So pass way along. Now we're going to go to the door. Now this door is going to be the for or forward door. Then we go to another door, and this is the aft door door. We're going to go to the jealousy. Four. Go into the aft. And now let's pop some shutters. Four. And shutters aft. Drag this whole big bad boy over. So now we got all of our connections through here. The same order as these are. And we have all of these on the back, the same order as we did in front. So now I need to add the the big porthole. 
Now, just like with this one where I showed the opposite, we're going to do the opposite here. So on this one, we started with 4. So over here, we're going to start with aft. And this was shutter. Shutter aft. Shutter four. All right. So now we have this whole section done, except we don't have a way to get up to it. So we come in through the do uh, the landing bay right here to this one by one. And all I need to do right here is come up here, come back to the halves again. And you'll notice we have ladder. We have the hole, of course. We have ladder 3x, 4x, 5x. I could use hole. It just literally makes the exact same hole that the ladder goes into, but no ladder. But I'm going to go ahead and use the ladder for this one. So we're going to bring this back. So now we can get up into it, we can get around it, and we can see all the doors and everything. Last we need to do is what are these 3x, 4x, 5x stairs? We're starting at this level here. We come back through these spines, crossways, and we're starting at this uh, Deimos one by one companionway. The ladder that's in this counts as one. So one, two, three. It's going to kick me off of the ladder at this level using a 3x. Then counting this level again, one, two, three, it's going to kick me off at this level. And then I can go up again for the last one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these all off. I'm going to add the 3x, bring this over, you got to add it every time. So the just ladder is for going up one level, meaning you have a level, you need to go one level higher ladder. If you need to go two levels higher than the level you're on, you do 3x. If you need to go three levels higher, you get the idea. There is a visual indication as to what you're doing with these. Now, on this, I have 4x. And on this one, I have 5x. So now you can see that is the entirety of this build, of all these build pieces. That's everything you have. And let's save this. We're going to go out. We're going to go inside. We're going to take a look, see what it looks like. This is where those ship tags are going to... Uh, Hab tags are going to come in handy because it gets a little confusing when they kind of all look the same. The same as each other. Both jalousies look the same. Alright, first and foremost, we had hole and we have a porthole up here. Then we have passway across. This is how you get your square or rectangle shape. It only works across. It does not work that way. That is actually a long right there. Now this one, it has no porthole glass. I put the glass there, but because I didn't put hole, it doesn't have, it, what it does, you see how, look at the depth here. Do you see this depth right here? It goes to about like right this spot. You notice how there's no depth there. All that depth is being consumed by hole. And when this calls for a hole here, you're placing the hole that it's calling for. Now, this is also a passway. Remember, we got a passway here. And this allows you to get the vanilla look. If you don't want to have something occluding your window, you use passway. Now, there are other options. I think the other options might be bugs, uh, and I'll explain that. But passway is the correct method that I can tell to give you the vanilla look. Now, we have door. This is going to be door port, and this is going to be door aft. Do you notice how there's a hallway? Aft, excuse me, starboard. There's a hallway there, but there isn't here. Here's the way to think of it. If you have a hab on the port side that you want to put a door where you want a little bit of hallway in that space, like you want this extra little space, it doesn't matter why, but you want it, you're going to put port on it. But if you have a hab on the starboard side and you want the hallway there, you're going to put a starboard door. 
Notice how they open the opposite. So this port door opens into the starboard hab. This is a port door on a window. It opens into the hab that we're calling it from instead of out that direction. And that probably is why doors at least don't work. So you've got your starboard door here that comes into. Well, if we had it on this one, it'd shoot it outside. That's probably why the doors don't have, they don't show up. So this is an additional option at this time to give you a no door solution on the window. If you do the opposite of the way it's facing. Now let's look at the jealousies. These I love in the kind of, I mean, it's the bathroom look. It's, they are accordion doors. And putting them on these rectangular sideways doors, I think is fantastic. So it's same thing. If this is the port, I'm standing in the starboard, I have no hallway. This is the starboard that I'm standing in, and I have a hallway. So that's going to be your difference between the two, depending on how you want to place them. I also love these on the window. I, I think that's great. That's just, it's perfect. It gives you some light privacy, maybe maybe noise privacy if you're at Space Dock or something, you know. I That's cool. I like that a lot. And then your starboard option. Again, you have nothing here. Now, for door, these guys, I think it's an issue of where it spawns into this cavity. So you see how this is just tight right against this edge. Look how tight this is against this edge. So look how much space there is between here. And then if you look at this window, there's not even remotely that much space. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's just the same reasoning for the door because it would shove it outside. It's hard for me to say. Now we get to shutters. So this is the port shutter. I like the aesthetic for the shutter if you are doing an, uh, an industrial ship. But there's a problem with the shutters. Watch. They aren't smooth at all. They're very janky. Really bad movement. Um, I don't know that this is because the mod author hasn't got them right or because they're really not meant for this application because it's just not a smooth movement. So port here starboard there so you get an get an extra space inside or you don't get an extra space inside depending on which you're standing in but yeah the the jagged movement of them, it's really jarring to me same thing here port window versus starboard window the the shutter now if i go over here to this and remember i swapped them stupid lights so this works now where that one didn't. So it's opposites. And this does not work where that one did. So if you look at it, just remember it's opposites. Now let's go look at four to aft. So we got a single ladder. We're going to come up here. We're going to start right to left again. So first we're going to do, we have a pass through. And they've opened my doors, and I'm not happy about it. Erg. People, stop opening my doors. So you got to pass through here. This is how you get your rounded door. Nice big door frame. Nothing in it. Looks very nice. Kind of hobbit hole-like. Hobbit ship. And it works the same for the porthole glass. So it gives you a very nice open look. You can decorate right here very easily. Put a window bench, something like that. Very, very good aesthetic if that's what you're looking for in that type of look. So then you have the difference between fore or forward and aft. The weird thing to me is I think fore is the correct door because it has the insulation on this side. As in it's the correct door uh, to protect the people in this space from that space. Whereas this one... Does, has no insulation, but this one actually opens in. So if you put the four door, it's same thing. It's opposites. It's going to open into the aft hab. Whereas if you put the aft door, it's going to open into the forward hab. So 
is what it is. What's going on? The windows do the exact same thing in Ford aft as they do port starboard. So this is the fore door and this is the aft door. This is probably more accurate if a spaceship, you would have this uh, hermetically sealable door over a big ass window that could break and kill everybody inside. So that's probably the most accurate. Let us take a look now. We have jalousies. Now I don't care as much for these on the rounded as I do on the rectangle. I don't know. Something, something odd about them when they're in this rounded door. It's I can't put my finger on it. So this is going to be four and same thing. There's nothing in the window because it, it that is the aft window. You know. So if you look, there is not as much of a pronounced difference in these as there is star, uh, port to starboard. There isn't as much space. So you have this space here and you have this space here. It's not as wide a margin. And of course he's standing in front of the door, the window, go away. So you can see how they close over the windows. I don't mind them over the windows, I just don't like them as much as I do as the squared. I like the shutters in the round door. I think they're cool. Now it's still not perfectly smooth. But I think it's okay because it's segmented. And I think, I don't know, there's something satisfying about that to me. And once again, because I put the four uh, shutter in the port window, it doesn't work. But vice versa, I, did I do them wrong again? So once again, they have, you see how this is coming up like right here. And if I look at this one, There, there's very, it's really just this central sp uh, spine between the two. So there's not a heck of a lot of difference on these. And I can totally dig these on the windows. I, I think that works quite well. I like how they lock down. It's just, it's just satisfying. So this is the 3x stair. So if you count this here, this is 1, 2, Three. Do you see right above my reticle? There's a pair of handles sticking out. So we're on one. Moving up through two. And into three, and it's going to kick me off at three. And there it does. So these handles right here are your visual indication of how far you can go up before the game auto kicks you off the ladder. Now, if we count this as one, going up through two, we'll go to the third one, it'll kick me off again, even though there's still another level. So it kicked me off again, and there's one level left. So even though you can see these on each level now above the third one, it still functions properly. So if you have a six story, a seven and eight story, whatever, nine story, you can set the appropriate ladder levels so that you climb up, it lets you off once, you climb up again, and you're done. Versus having to, I don't know, constantly have to get off over and over and over again. I'm not going to show you the 4 because, well, it's the same as the 3 plus 1. I'll show you the 5. The 5 gets us, it's really hard to see. 1 from the very top, because these are 6 stories. Start at 1. Passing 2. Three, four, and the next one should kick me off. There should be one level left. And boom. So the first level that I see these handles, these are the 5x. It kicked me off, and there is one level left. So it did exactly as described, though it might not be quite as... By the way, you do have to do all these. So there, in the change log, it says you don't have to put uh, doors between all the spi um, these spines. You do. So quite a bit has changed since the change log. That sounds funny, but um, a fair number of things have been updated since the change log. 
I'll show you that I did have to put so that you can see you can see I had to put passways through here in order to get through that uh, seamlessly and you'll notice everything just sticks around it's not once you place it you can move things around and not have to worry about them and then if you need to grab it just move it over to some other thing like if I decide come on. now that one's got the window and this one doesn't so it's very easy to use little maybe daunting at first when you just first look at it very easy to use uh, see if it's something for you just bear in mind it's a mod mods can break the game can break a mod another mod can break the mod this bond might break other mods you never know uh, so it's always a at your own risk type of uh, situation in these but I think this is one of those that is kind of a must-have for most people thanks for watching